Hey guys, welcome back to another Unprofessionally Unbox. I'm one of your hosts, I'm Joe Gigatti, and I'm here to unbox something for you um, unprofessionally. So you bought yourself the new fruit phone, right? They're starting to get rid of headphone jacks out of all our phones. So what do you do? You buy yourself one of those expensive AirPods? Or are you just happy with the wired headset that you have now? But Joe, yeah, my fruit phone X comes with an adapter so I can listen to my headphones. Yeah, but you can't listen to your music and charge your phone at the same time. But they sell a really expensive adapter to go with that. That's my only choice. Well, have I got something for you. All right, in all seriousness, if you do want to use your headsets that are wired with a phone that doesn't have a headphone jack, this little product right here will do it for you. So why would you want to buy this over a Bluetooth headset? I'd say the number one reason is that you can actually get a really good affordable headset that sounds really good wired for like half the price of a Bluetooth headset. I know Beats sells a wired headset right now that's like half the price of the others that they sell and it sounds just as good. Or say you have an iPad and you want to set your iPad up on the counter while you watch it from a distance. You don't need it in your lap the whole time. Or say you're watching some of those adult movies and you need two hands free, right? Or say you don't want to disturb anybody else It's late at night and you're watching your iPad. Maybe it's sitting on the coffee table and you're sitting on the couch. Instead of having to lean in and listen with your headphones the whole time and try to be uncomfortable as you're listening to it. You just pop your headphones into this bad boy. This is the Extreme Sound Bluetooth adapter with the built-in mic that I didn't notice before. So if your headphones don't have a built-in microphone for those phone calls while you're listening to music, this will work with that. It does have volume and pause and play controls. It can go up to 33 feet. Two and a half hours of playtime, which is plenty enough while you're commuting. And it's rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries. All right, slide this out of the box. We have the USB charging cable. You'll have to find your own wall adapter. It comes with an auxiliary. I guess this will make anything a Bluetooth device. We just reviewed the Tautronics. We'll check this out after we put in the headphones. This is the device itself. It's got a little clip so you can clip it onto your waistband or your shirt or wherever you need to clip it onto. It's, uh, it's lightweight. And here you have the instructions. Let's look through the instructions. Nah, I'm just kidding. We don't f with no instructions here. Oh, I'm sorry, Reptar. Go, go right back. Go right back there. You'll be all right. I got myself a pair of wired headphones with the jack at the end. Turn this thing on and try it out. I'm gonna try to pair this thing up to my phone. Hold this down for a few seconds. There we go. We got a blinking blue and red. I found it there. The XBA paired up easily. It's as simple as putting that right in there. So it sounds like it would normally if I plug my headphones into the phone. I'm not losing any clarity and I'm not losing any volume. There's actually a volume adjuster on here. Let me see if I can get it louder. Maybe it acts as an amplifier. I just pressed it and it skipped to the next song. So maybe that isn't the volume adjustment. So if you press it, it's volume up and down. If you hold it, you skip to the next song. But Joe, why don't you just read the instructions? So no, I wouldn't say it amplifies the music. It just controls the amount of volume coming through the headset. Actually, let me try another pair of headphones that came with my Samsung Galaxy. See, these are actually better quality than the other headphones I just used, and they're louder. So it's just the quality of the headphones, and that's what you can get with this. You can get Bluetooth on any quality headphones that you like. Let me, let me try a pair of five below headphones on this Bluetooth device. All right, so let's keep this music going, and let's see how far we can walk away from the phone. I'm in my kitchen now, and I'm still listening to it. Let me, let me go outside. Let me see if I can go outside. All right, as soon as I walk outside, that's where it starts breaking up. You can barely even see me. All right, right here, right at the door, is where the limit on this is. That's actually a pretty far distance 
from where my office is. So you can walk a pretty good distance. For the few bucks that I paid for this, I think this is actually a, a really good device to use. I think I'll be using it uh, in the bedroom. My wife, you know, sometimes she goes to bed early. She works earlier than I do. So not to disturb her, maybe I'll put the tablet on the side so that way I'm not holding it in my lap the whole time. I hate holding it up while you're laying down the whole time. So I can actually use the stand. I can put it up on the stand next to the bed and listen without annoying her and waking her up the whole time or having to sit in the living room and falling asleep on the couch. No, I don't get kicked out of the bedroom, all right? Sometimes I just go on the couch, I'm watching TV and I fall asleep. Oh crap, yeah. Something I forgot to test out was the actual auxiliary piece that it came with. We can see if this acts as an auxiliary Bluetooth device at a cheaper rate than maybe some of the other stuff in the car. So apparently my wife went ahead and took the keys to my car by accident to work. So I'm stuck at the house. So let's just put it into the auxiliary in this speaker here. Even though it has Bluetooth, I'm not using the Bluetooth with uh, this box here, the Ion. I'm going to make sure it's connected to the Bluetooth for that device. So as you see, it's connected there. So let's play a song and see if it plays through the speaker. It's jumping in the pool and I ain't got on no bra Get up front of back, pulling on the tracks and now she's screaming out no more They like Savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got 6 cars So yeah, that's an added bonus. Not only do you get a wireless headphone transmitter But you can also put it in any car or any speaker that doesn't have Bluetooth and it becomes a Bluetooth device. This is a real bargain at five bucks at Five Below. I know Five Below isn't everywhere in the country, but if you wanna pick up something similar at a good price, I'm gonna leave a link for another one from Amazon below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more from us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time.